Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? It's your boy Camo here, back with another reaction video for you. Today, we got another Steve Harvey. White people have wonderful weekends. Um, I'm a little cautious going into this one uh, because as someone who had a white dad and kind of grew up in the middle class life, middle class neighborhoods, very curious as to what he's going to say because I don't know um, if it's going to be aligned with my type of weekends or if it's going to be what I think it might be, which is more like the upper middle class or the upper class. But or maybe it has nothing to do with the class at all. We'll see. Out of the way, here we go. I'm going to share with you some things that's different about us. I'm going to tell black people something that's different about whites that you didn't know. And I'm going to tell white people something about black people that you didn't know. Maybe you can help understand each other a little bit better. I like when comedy does that. I'll bring us First closer. of all, white folks have wonderful weekends. <laughs> they do. White folks have wonderful weekends. White folks, ooh, white folks do shit on the weekends your black ass never dreamed of doing. Like. Oh. White folks have spectacular weekends. When last time your black ass had a wonderful weekend? Black people don't have a wonderful weekend. We just have a couple of days off. Because <laughs> we know Monday is back to the bullshit. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm in line with that one because I know that <laughs> Sundays around 1 or 2 o'clock, <laughs> I start to get a little a little sad and it's always because like uh tomorrow's Monday weekend's almost over damn it that's how it goes you know we just use them two days to rejuvenate our souls so we have enough to get through the week that's all it is oh you might set the grill up or something you know have your cousins come over you know pooking them that's how I do my weekends. You know, then your aunt get in a fight with your uncle. Pookie jump in it. Then you got to call the police. Everything but the name Pookie. Police come, cap Pookie ass to jail. Now you got to take $100 bail money down there, get Pookie ass out. Now you done messed up all the kids' school money for the week. Now next time you see Pookie, you want to stab his ass. <laughs> Do you have a pookie in your life? Comment below. I got a pookie if you got a pookie. White I do not have a pookie. White folks have incredible weekends. Now, I'm going to tell you some of the stuff white folks do on the weekend. Let me hear this. Trust me, somewhere in America this weekend, a white man somewhere is going to go hang gliding. Nope. Going to strap a <laughs> kite. On his ignorant ass back and step straight the fuck off a mountain. <laughs> comment below if you've ever, uh, oh, I've never, if you've ever Jesus. done. Comment below. Oh, this is great. As much as I always wish I could fly, in case you don't know why that rhymed, but look behind me, you'll see why. I'm just rhyming. I'm just rhyming still. I'm rhyming all the time. Was that another rhyme? I don't know. I would never do shit like this. I'd actually, I'd actually rather skydive. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. There's. I don't know why. I feel like. I don't know. I don't know why. I would rather skydive than bungee jump or this type of crap. I don't know why. I'd, I'd much rather just skydive because. I think it's because. You still get to enjoy, and maybe it is with that too, hang line, whatever, but I, I feel like you still get to enjoy the feeling of flight or whatever you want to, I don't know if it feels like falling, but it looks like you're flying for a little bit before you find out, is, is, is this my time, you know, like, but before you find out, is this my time, you get to enjoy that, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's why. I would much rather do it that way than just be like, 
Okay, I'm running off a cliff. Woo! Oh, shit. What's happening? What's going wrong? I didn't get to enjoy any of that ride. You know what I'm saying? You bet not push a black person off a mountain with a kite on his back. We'll be pissing on everybody at the park. That's what I... That's what I... Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, we like your dad. I'm going to kick his ass. Oh, Lord. You know why? Because we some scary-ass people. Black people scared a little bitty shit. Black people, I'm telling you something. We don't even go on roller coasters after we 18. I don't go over. Oh, okay. So I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really black inside. I feel like that's, and I'm saying that as a compliment. I'm feeling really black inside because I'm feeling everything he's saying so far. And actually, last night, I cannot remember for the life of me what me and my wife were watching, but we were watching a movie, and it was a situation where it was a couple. And if you know the movie, please tell me. It was a couple, and then there was a bear, and uh, the bear didn't end up doing anything to the couple or anything like that. But there was a moment where they thought that the bear might come after them. And so, like, in the uh, the guy kind of, like, stood in front of his lady and kind of, like, you know, put protected or whatever. And I don't know why. I was just being honest, but I was like, babe, like, I want you to know. Like, I looked at it, and I'm like, I was like, babe, I want you to know right now, seriously, like, I'm, this is not a joke. If we, if you and I were in that situation, I would, and then she was like, you'd fight the bear. And I was like, no, I would, I would be pissing myself. What? I'd fight the bear? You think I'd fight the bear? <laughs> I'm like... There's those Red Bull commercials where it's like, you know, two deer or something and, a, and then a, the lion comes out and then like one starts popping the Red Bull and the other one's like, you know, why are you drinking that? You know, you still won't be faster than the lion. He's like, I don't have to be quicker than the lion, just faster than you. Makes my wife laugh every time. But that's the that's my point right now. Is I'm, I'm not saying I would run because honestly, sadly, my wife would probably beat me. But I would be like, no, I'd just be pissing. Pissing, pissing, and then either hopefully maybe the smell deters it, or I'm gonna die in my own piss. That's how I roll. Man, I ain't going on no damn roller coaster. Shit. Have all my money fall out my pocket. Tell you something else, white folks are doing the weekend. White folks go fishing. On the weekend. Not since I was a kid. Oh, I'm talking really fishy. I thought it was boring. White folks got boats. Nope. Extra rods and reels in case some friends come along. I feel like this has more to do with class than it does race because I have uh, one, sadly, I'm talking about that fits this criteria. I have one couple, black couple, upper class. They do shit like this. They go fishing. They go like rock climbing, they do that type of shit. They go white water rafting. They're black. So I think I think this has more to do with class, like income level or something, and maybe even where you live versus race. Honestly. Oh. It's make it's they got funnier. Lures and they be all it's funnier to make it about race because more people can associate with that versus class, but it's like if it really Really what it is, is it has to do with class. All over the lake, just finding fish. They got radar. Tell them how deep the water is. How many fish up under the boat. Where the rocks and all that. All oh, white folks got everything. Be all over the lake fishing. Not I. Your ass is fishing. But ain't the same. Nah, your ass is sitting on the bank on a bucket. With a cane pole. Staring at some little red and white ball on top of the water. <laughs> just looking at it hour on hour. I hate to break it to you. That ain't fishing. Your ass is hoping. You just hoping a fish that's come along like. and bite that rat like, ass it. worm that's been on the hook since five in the morning. Some bitch and turn gray. The fuck ain't even wiggling no more. <laughs> Don't let a fish come along and finally bite it. You get so excited, you just, yeah! Now you done threw that little ass fish all up in the parking lot. Now you all up under the car trying to find that goddamn... 
You knew you should have threw that little ass fish back in the first place. Oh, no. But your black ass ain't throwing no fish back, are you? Uh-uh. You know why? Because you got some hot grease and cornmeal waiting on his ass back at the house. <laughs> now it's too small you can't even get the bones out of it now you got to wrap it up in eight nine slices of white bread so you don't choke your ignorant ass half to death okay so as predicted it was a little bit more about uh, race and and uh and culture and like where you grew up society and stuff like that but uh, i it was funnier to make it about race as coming from a comedic standpoint, a comedic point of view. It's funnier to make things about stereotypes, which is black versus white versus like upper class versus middle class or lower class, whatever. Um, that's just how it is. That's how comedy works. But I still enjoyed the clip. I still thought it was really funny. Thank you so much for suggesting. If you have other videos you'd like me to react to, comment section below. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time.